A vlogger Denise travels the world to promote the revolutionary female condom. She's just back from Kenya, where she was impressed by the progressive attitude of the country towards AIDS, HIV and sex education. So Denise, why do you think Kenya has such an uh, example position for the rest of Africa? Well, Kenya is very progressive in, it, in its approach towards curing and preventing HIV AIDS infections and other STI infections. Um, they are recognizing that they should target pop, uh, key vulnerable populations. And with this, we mean sex workers, men having sex with men, truck drivers, and so forth. Because even though they only make up 2% of the entire Kenyan population, they do account for one third of all new HIV AIDS infections in that country. And so recognizing that problem makes sure that they can approach it in an accurate manner. And what is in your opinion the big difference with other African countries? I think in this case that they don't pass any judgments on these groups. In many African countries, female sex workers are stigmatized. And especially men having sex with men are stigmatized. We all remember the case of Uganda last year and this year and how strict they are with these practices. Now remember, men having sex with men aren't necessarily homosexuals. What we see most of the time is that some part of them is homosexually oriented, but most of them are just married men who might have children as well. And and they have a fling on the side with another man, get HIV infected, go home, and then also infect their wives. Um, and this is a very harmful practice, not only for that key target group, but also the Kenyan population at large. And so what the Ministry of Health does very well in Kenya is recognize that they can't close their eyes, even though they might not personally approve of the practice, but they really need to tackle this without any judgment and provide female condoms and male condoms to these populations as well as adequate healthcare services. And would you also say that this is the reason that um, the big condomized campaign is taking place in Kenya this year? Yes, Condomize is an initiative from the United Nations Family Planning Association. And um, they are actually working with us to make sure that we have this national campaign going on where we say, listen, use your condoms, your male condoms and your female condoms, because even though you can trust yourself, you might never know where your partner might have been. And so Kenya is very good in pushing this awareness forward, not only with key populations, but also the general population. So we're working on a big campaign this year, which is very exciting. Uh, thanks, Denise, for your information. Keep us updated. And for more information, check out our website.